Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to release unused space of tempdb2 operating system. In this demo, we'll be learning how to find current size of tempdb data file, how to find how much space is needed by tempdb data file, and how to release unused space of tempdb data file using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface. So let's take a look on the current size of tempdb data file. Here's my SQL Server Management Studio. I need to expand system databases in order to get to tempdb. And here's my tempdb. In order to find the current allocated space to our tempdb data file, you need to right click, go to task, shrink, and files. Right here is a tempdb data file. Up here is file name tempdev. If you have multiple file names of your uh, tempdb, which is mostly the case in production system, you need to go ahead and uh, click on here and uh, select your desired uh, data file. So in my case, there is only one data file, which is tempdev right here. Uh, up here is the currently allocated space, 200 MB, and available free space for us is 98%. And if you notice right here, minimum size is required 3 MB. However, our current size is 200 MB. And why is that? Couple scenarios uh, that can play a role in increasing the size of your tempdb data. One is that you go, you went ahead and um, gave initial size of your tempdb 200 MB, and other is that you, different session came in, connected with SQL Server, used tempdb, and since we have auto growth enabled on tempdb, it grew up to 200 MB. Now sessions are completed successfully. Uh, one should expect that uh, tempdb will come back to 3 MB since it only needs at this moment 3 MB, but it doesn't happen that way. Once the space is increased, once the space is gone to uh, 200 MB or whatever uh, the whatever w was needed by the sessions, it doesn't come back automatically. You have to basically um, retrieve it back. Uh, there are different ways to retrieve the um, your space back. One is what I'm showing right here is relate, release unused space and other is that you can go ahead and shrink the file up here clicking this option and give your desired number here let's say that uh, right now it's uh, 3 MB needed minimum maybe you can go ahead and give 10 MB and shrink uh, tempdb data file so we're gonna go ahead and basically do this release unused space and the third method I was gonna mention is that if you restart the SQL services then um, your tempdb will come back to desired uh, minimum desired size which is 3 MB at this moment but uh, right now 98% is free for us we would like to retrieve that particular space back so we're gonna go ahead and click release unused space here click OK and then let's go back and take a look on the size of the tempdb data file as you can see that we did the release unused space and it has released back currently allocated space is 4 MB minimum required is 3 MB so this is one way that you basically go in tempdb and retrieve your uh, file this scenario can come handy if your tempdb has grown uh, uh, very large and sessions are completed successfully and then you can go back and take a look of the minimum required space of tempdb if minimum required space and your currently allocated space are equal then tempdb is not going to shrink that means that sessions are still running and that space is needed by tempdb so it's not going to give you back but uh, this scenario works only if all the sessions are completed and we have free uh, space available which we can go ahead and retrieve and then you can go ahead and use this method um, to retrieve unused space of tempdb and i hope this video helps